today I am adding a downspout to a existing gutter due to water flow issues. I have it marked already. Kind of hard to see if there's all this debris in here. I'm going to try to center it up with my hole right here I already got on the bottom side. When you mark it, make sure you mark it with a pencil and you go over it several times. Because sometimes that water doesn't allow the lead to stick to the aluminum gutter. I'm going to hand cut this outlet. There's really no good best way to put an outlet in with the machine when it's attached to the fascia board. I'm trying to get some screw holes so I can get my tin snips in there. Barely see here. Man, that water's pretty dirty. I put my snips in those holes I made and create a bigger hole. I'm going to come on the bottom side here with my snips and start cutting this outlet that I traced out. They sell hole punches and stuff, but it doesn't really work for this application. Now I'm stuck between the fascia board and the gutter here. I like to use a pair of reds for my daily cutting, but you're gonna want a pair of green snips. It's been raining all day over here, so I'm soaking wet too. These are green snips and red. <laughs> they basically just help to get in these tight spots. Can't really see what I'm doing. Man, that one looks pretty rusty. <clears throat> Takes a little bit of practice, but I haven't done it in a while. Now, there's a wrong way and a right way to do this. 
people sometimes make an X outlet. Well, when you make an X outlet, let me demonstrate with this piece of metal here. I know it's not an X. So you got debris. All right. Well, it's gonna get caught all over that X outlet. And it's gonna actually plug the outlet. Now with this three by four outlet, it allows more debris to flow through. This outlet just sits right up in there. Next step, I put one screw here, one screw there, in an angle, and then I seal it with our uh, geo seal and call it a day. Thanks for watching.